everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching. So this is a tutorial I done quite a while ago now. This was on a Friday mix and match. So I just take different elements from my Mater Surprise collection, mix them together and create a nice card. So this one I'm using my circle double slider set and I wanted to create a big suite with a slider on the top. So I pulled out my sweets and treats. So you've got the baked goods and the sweets and treats and also my chunky alphabet dies there. Some of this is still available. As always, it will be linked in the description box below. If you want to watch this in real time, it's about a two hour, two hour, 15 minute live. I will link that in the description box below. This video is just here purely for inspiration and I can just give you, you know, a few uh, kind of pointers on what I'm doing. So first of all, I'm just cutting all of the elements that you need to make the slider. So to see how to make a normal slider, you can also find on my channel and I will link that in the description box. So I'm just cutting everything down, all the pieces that I need, and then I'm starting to create the sweet wrapper. Now you could use cellophane, you don't have to use cardstock. You could also use um, fabric. You could use different material. It doesn't have to be cardstock, basically. You can use whatever you want. I'm just showing you the process here. The measurements, you can do whatever you want with. Again, I will link the video so you can get the exact measurements from there if you want to create something. But you just need a square and you just need to mark it wherever you want to create the style that I'm giving you here to create that kind of sweet wrapper edge. So there is no rule. There's no real set measurements of this is whatever you want. I'm just showing you the process so you can see how I've done it. So it did take me a while to kind of get my head around what I wanted and to get the card to do what I wanted. But we got there in the end. I think it looked really good. Like I said, if you want something really quick, then use cellophane and just kind of scrunch it up on the edges um, and then just, you know, trim it down. But you can see that I'm starting to get this shape. And once I add it behind the circle, we'll start to get that sweet wrapper. There we go. As if by magic, it appears. So once you've got that, you want to create, you want to put the, the card together just as you normally would put together the, the slider element here. So I'm just having the single slider. So we only need one lot of all of these pieces. If you're doubling it, tripling it, or you can do a quadruple slider, then you just need to die cut, you know, two, three or four of each of these pieces. All the hints and tips on how to get a really nice smooth mechanism and everything I share in the, the real time tutorial for this die set. Like I said, this is just here just for inspiration purposes. For those people that wanted it, I, you know, I'm trying to do these voiceovers and get these videos up on the channel. So again, just putting it all together there and that's the single pop up. Now, I think I end up putting a gift card on this. It's a really good set to hide a gift card behind. So I think that's what I ended up putting on this one. And then I'm just building up all the other pieces. That's the stand there that goes onto the back. And you can have your message there as well. And this will all fit into a six by six envelope. But I would probably pop this in a box envelope if I wasn't adding the side pieces. Um, this one will I, I will end up making a custom envelope for because I do still have it. Um, I make so many cards. I think I'm going to send one card for, for an occasion, then I make something else again. And it always changes. So what I'm doing here is I'm popping these pieces in between the two layers. So it's really neat from the back as well. You don't see any of it. And you'll see I've just started to add ribbon to the left hand side there. Then I'm using the Starburst die. So this was from my Reveal Wheel collection. And I just thought it worked really well for the sweet wrapper. So I'm actually turning this one into a shaker. So I'm just popping it on some acetate there. Just giving it a good clean. And I've used that pink mirrored card. So they, these are the little Cosmic Shimmer um, discs. They're really nice. Again, if I remember, I'll link them below. So you can see there, I'm just popping them all into the, the middle. You can add quite a lot of these because they're really, really thin. There's no dimension like on sequins. You have they're kind of slightly raised. These ones aren't. They're completely flat little discs. So just filling up that space there so I can get a rough idea of how much I need. And then I've got the foam all around the edge there. And then I can just place that neatly over the top. Now finishing off the decoration here. So that's where you can add your gift card or a hidden message. And now my sentiments, I'm using the chunky alphabet and I end up going for yummy wishes. I remember we were discussing this for a long time, like what to have, but I thought this one looked quite good. I love these letters and what I've done is I've cut them twice. So in white and then in the pink mirrored card, but I've offset the mirror card slightly behind. So it helps the white pop a bit more. And then the wishes is from my Christmas sentiments dies, I believe. And then I'm just adding the other ribbon tie there on the and I think that's what really finishes it off but again if you can imagine that as cellophane 
on the uh, the edges, then that would look really good as well. And now coming up are some pictures of the card all finished and just closer up there. I added some other little sweet little images above the yummy there. And I will add the gift card on the top there. So it's lovely for breathy card. But I think this would look really good for Christmas as well. You could have little Christmas themed, you know, images on there and change the colours and stuff. But yeah, perfect for birthdays. So I hope this one is useful for those of you that have this set and you just want to create something a little bit more out of the box. And as always, I will be back again very soon. Take care. Bye.